Hey friends, I got my hoodie on. This is from the Adventure Wingman Challenge 2022. Lovely, this thing came in handy uh, uh, in those High Sierra mountains. They were cool. All right, so check out this. All right, first run on the Scout. See if we can get it. Part one coming at you right here. We've got lots of fun, you can check it out. This is the intro, kind of uh, getting started with things. More to come. I can see the airport. Hey, you know me, I love flying of all kind, even commercial airlines. So I jumped on a plane, went from Florida all the way to California, had to participate in this wonderful adventure. Was looking forward to it. Their website really pulled me in. It talked to me. Wanted to find something that was a challenge to do, become better at your skills in flying, meet great people, and then crank out 1,100 miles or as many miles as you could. Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> we just can't fly very yeah, close to each other. No. <laughs> There was about half a dozen of us that signed up as individuals. So we get hooked up with Victor and David and Mark. On and Claire. So to add to the challenge, I wanted to fly a scout for the first time. So I rented a scout, was very excited to be flying on this innovative machine. There was a window to go fly and I got up on the scout was very happy to be up in the sky on my scout that first launch. There's Bridgeport. That's my little hotel I was staying in. And getting up in the air uh, does something to your confidence. I was uh, top of the moon. I was top of the mountain. I was feeling very confident. And that uh, went with me for many of my launches afterwards. I, I felt very confident. I got about a dozen early risers getting ready to launch. Yeah, we're ready. Where are you laid out? Over there. It's, I'm going to have to move. It's changing. Yeah, it's now it's this gonna way. It's going to come. Yeah, but it's going to keep switching. It's light variable. We knew that the weather was changing uh, before we all packed our snow gear and our layers up. The plan was to go to Tahoe and fly from there, and that had to get adjusted because of the weather system coming through. Especially in the interior, that's where we could be looking at the most rain along with high elevation snow. I gotta give a shout out to Harley Milne. So Harley picked me up at the Lake uh, Tahoe Reno Airport. We were going to uh, drive to Tahoe. The start point changed to Bridgeport and Harley drove me for two hours all the way from Tahoe to Bridgeport. Thank you Harley. All Check right, out everybody. his uh, stuff online. Uh, Red Man, I'm, uh, uh, my gear is uh, being shipped with Black Hawk back to California. Shout out to Ian Kirk, uh, who flies the High Sierras a lot. I was looking forward to flying with Ian. He sent me some videos of some beautiful places to fly. It was no go. We looked up in those mountains with the weather conditions. I wanted to peek up those canyons and go over those lakes. Just wasn't in the cards for us this time. London Ivy with Cloud Base PPG, who uh, sponsored me with this Da Vinci Disco 20 meter. It was the perfect wing to fly. It was a 20 meter, it had plenty of lift, and it's so stable, a confident building wing. So when I fly, often I dedicate my flights. This flight, I was thinking a lot of my father, who was a World War II Navy pilot. He would teach the boys how to fly. Well, hello. Gee, looks like I'm back in the movies again, doesn't it? Well, as a matter of fact, I like to do some talking. I guess I'll start with my new passion of safety and not annoying people. I want to leave every one of these points that we go to with everybody going, man, that was an awesome deal. Super courteous and be thinking about how we're representing the sport. All right, Victor. Victor kept saying, come on up with me, but I still had to break in my motor and uh, was doing a few more cycles on that. Didn't go up, uh, it was a good thing. Victor got up and got rocked a bit and had to come straight down. Oh, yeah. Oh, the gusts came up. 
We all lined up and got some pictures, had some uh, fun, and then the next morning was going to come early. There was uh, a lot of folks trying to get up, and that high elevation, heavy load um, did make it difficult for some. We got uh, Miro. Miro is a shining example of a cross country physique. This guy is built like, I call him a, a, a rugby player. He can get going and uh, my, my buddy Victor would call him the Titan. He's a Titan. Oh no, he's down. This guy's helping. Trevor, oh, he rocked that. That was yeah. a good launch. Yeah. It's cold, but, uh, and we're going slow. Ah, good morning. Here we are in Levine. So we've had good, uh, good help, good friends. Came down and was next to some farmland of a man near uh, North Mono Lake. So I've got a very high bump tolerance. I fly paragliding and you got to thermal up and, and know how to get smacked and uh, recover. I've taken SIV course. The training will kick in when you need it. Was getting bumped. I decided to uh, head over, but I noticed I'm doing six miles an hour. So trimmed out, my wing will do 45 plus miles an hour. A farmer uh, came by, he, he came by me once and said he was going the other direction and then he felt like he should come back. So he came back and gave me a ride. So his name was Tom and Tom actually spotted some other guys hitchhiking on the side of the road and he pulled over and it was Miro and Trevor. Talked to the uh, establishment there and Tim is the one that said, well, we can put you in the lodge. We will even take you to the airport. Get these guys on their way to their next adventure. Yeah, we're gonna keep going the adventure, can't they? Yeah. Oh man, the food was delicious here. Lodging is so nice. Judson, you gotta give me a hug. So, yeah, we, we almost got mauled by the So it's funny, I actually thought I was following Victor and I was following Judson. Judson's wing was just moving quick. I couldn't catch him. And then I lost him. Apparently Judson uh, turned back and headed for Bridgeport. Um, and then he uh, decided he would uh, move along and catch up to us. So Judson uh, found a ride and caught up to us in Levine. Hey, dude, I, think it, I think it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, a few clouds, a little bit of wind. Like, oh, we are live? No, you're not live. Oh, dude, we should all do a live. Let's do a live. <laughs> Three lives at one time. Uh, yeah. JC, for, for the Ryan water and here Kayla. is freezing. I'm doing it. I'm filling it up. Oh, yeah. The ice bath. Ice bath is good for your muscles. A new man. There is a new man. Dude, honestly, though, like all of that stiffness in my thighs is like straight up. Yeah. It sucks though. Oh, it, 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 it takes some courage. You gotta have courage to get in that. Right, that was like 30 seconds and I'm counting for five and I'm like, holy shit, Good five job, seconds. good job. That was, that was ice. Oh, that was that ice cold. cold. Good job, good uh, job. Definitely doing that again. I hope it was a random selection. What do you mean? Because I, I don't feel any more Justified to have my own bed. No, it was well thought out. We thought we thought it out. You're you're the larger, taller, bigger, stronger, faster, smarter. You you get the big bed. Uh, that, yeah, actually, there's a good chance that I'm snoring the most. <laughs> so, you, so you want me? Lock, I did You want to lock me out? I didn't want to room. say that. But. Yes. You have the chance to play with all these toys. Beautiful life. Being stupid and calling it adventure. <laughs> Living it to the fullest. We're gonna find trouble. Guess what? And uh, that's part of it. I, I was going backwards, trim oh, down. If I trim down, I was backwards. Good morning. Ready, ready for another adventure. Yeah, we'll see what the wind does. It looks like it wants to smack us around a bit, so. A bit? Yeah. 
All right. Two gloves here. Oh, those are mine. Thank you. <laughs> I checked and then left my gloves. There they are, nice and toasty by the fire. I would have been a little cold there. A little bit breezy with that south wind, southerly wind coming um, at about 14 miles per hour. So we have this trough of low pressure over northwestern Arizona. And so that's promoting that southwesterly flow. And what that literally is doing is pulling in monsoonal moisture. 10 mile an hour winds here. It's getting up to 30, gusting. We're going to go back and, uh, and make some plans. We're on a fire break road. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's possible to take off. Yeah. I think it's possible. There are, there are, it's got blue skies above us, some nice cumulus clouds over there. They may have. I didn't see any lightning coming out of the radar. And uh, the conditions are windy and gusty. You'll see if you go up and look at the clouds, they're probably moving 40, 50 miles an hour up there. The adventure continues, we get wind, you can hear a gust right there coming through. Continue moving south, see if we can hitchhike and get uh, down to Mammoth and to Bishop and get further south. Conditions are too bad, but then I got to thinking that there's no rule that says I can't just hitchhike over the mountain, so I hiked my motor to the nearest town and started sticking my thumb out. This is for about an hour in three different spots and So we kept moving south, made it to the Bishop Airport, but we couldn't get in the gate. I have to escort you in and they won't let you get in before a certain time, whatever. Anyway, the wind followed us there and we couldn't get up Bishop, so we kept moving south. American workmen, the finest master mechanics in the world, put those motors together. Made them live, made them breathe, made them roar. There are a whole army of workmen, designers, engineers, and just plain guys who wanted to do something for their country. They put that B-17 together. So we made it to Independence, California Airport. We stayed overnight there and in the morning got a good start. Lovely, nice sleep here on the porch. Right there, we had power. Had a sleeping bag there. Oh, go ahead. Trevor and Judson were right there. Miro was there, breaking down the camps, getting it all good. Beautiful sky. Last night the sky was so beautiful. Stars, Milky Way. And we can see the sun starting to poke. He's rising. Keep all your game. As and laws, as and laws, it's all the same. As and laws, as and laws, keep all your games. As and laws, as and Victor, lost. guess what? We are in Death Valley Furnace, Furnace Creek, and uh. That was a lovely flying. I don't, I don't know all the data, but it was a couple hours of flying, I think. I think we, we deserve it. It was so beautiful. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't come cheap, though. A few thousand of these babies will win this war for us. And a few thousand guys like you in there flying. And remember, we said something about a team. Well, nine men are inside that plane, each with an important job to do. Here's a little bit of uh, further on down the road. You keep watching this and we'll uh, come back with some more of the adventure. Wingman 2022.